The way we give love and receive love is called our love language. And this concept of love languages was developed by Dr. Gary Chapman in his 1992 book, The Five Love Languages. In 1997, Dr. Chapman got together with Dr. Ross Campbell, and they authored the book, The Five Love Languages of Children. Now, the concepts in this book are really powerful in that every child is different. And if you don't speak your child's love language, they just may not feel loved. Hey guys, I'm Jason Kreidman and welcome to another episode of Dad University. We release a new dad advice video every Thursday. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you know exactly when we upload a new video. With over 1100 five star reviews on Amazon, the book and its concepts have proven to be popular over time. The five love languages of children really help us understand how we can show love to our kids and that they can receive it. Of course, it's good to show them love in multiple ways, and most children are receptive to all five of the languages. But children, like us adults, typically have a primary love language. So let's go over the five love languages of children. Number one, words of affirmation. A child whose primary love language is words of affirmation feels loved when we use encouraging words and phrases with them. They love compliments like, uh, thank you so much for helping me, or you did that so well. Both written and verbal expressions are powerful. So you might say, I love you, or you might write something and tell them how special they are. It's the words that make them feel loved. The second love language for children is gifts. Children with this love language like tangible tokens of love. These gifts often represent symbols of your love. Some examples of gifts might be getting a book that you can read together with them or taking a special photo and having it framed so they can put it in their room. You know, of course, all kids seem to like gifts, but when it's their primary love language, these gifts seem to be an extension of your love. These gifts mean more to these types of children. Number three, acts of service. Maybe your child feels really loved when you fix their special toy that broke or that you make their favorite meal for them. When children are younger, acts of service typically are uh, us doing things for them that they can't really do for themselves. As they get older, the acts of service are activities that just make them feel loved and appreciated. Figure out what type of service works for them. You can even ask them and then do that. The fourth love language for children is quality time. Quality time is spending time together and your child receives your focused attention. If you have more than one child and one of them is a quality time child, be sure that time with them is one-on-one. -on -one. The group setting is not going to make them feel loved. This could be coloring or reading or even just sitting down and playing a game together. Spending the time together is what counts. It's not even the activity or what it is that you're doing. It's really that time together that that child values. The fifth love language is physical touch. That child who always wants to snuggle with you or always wants to sit in your lap, that is a child whose primary love language is physical touch. They get fulfilled by your hugs and your kisses or maybe your back rubs or running your fingers through their hair. That physical touch for them is how they feel loved and connected. With any of these love languages, there's going to be pitfalls. Think of the child that always needs gifts in order to feel loved, or the child that has to have your undivided attention all the time. As with everything, you want to be mindful that balance is important. If your child's love language is acts of service and so you do everything for them, this can be a negative. So in that case, maybe your act of service is to teach them how to do things on their own. All of these love languages are about us dads creating a strong bond with our child. When you understand your child's love language, your efforts will be much more effective. I'd love to hear from you. What is your child's love language? What do you do to express your love to them?
Leave your feedback in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, you don't want to miss what we have for you in our other videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click on that notification bell. We'll see you next week.